great for you to join us. Thanks so much. You've just been on the simulator, first of all. How did you get on there? I think I need a bit more practice, uh, Peter. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're on, on the Snedderton uh, 300 circuit. So, um, you know, I, I do find sims particularly <coughs> useful tools, you know, just to keep uh, keep thinking about, about racing and, and practicing your yeah. skill. But, um, you know, I find uh, that you got to be pretty d disciplined with it. You know, it's easy to cheat and uh, make yourself look good. So, uh, you know, I prefer to be uh, doing the real thing. And we've just been talking to Ash Sutton, and as he left, I said, so what am I going to ask you? And he said, oh, ask him how he felt after Brands and how long <laughs> it took him to get over it and what he felt about a Subaru driver winning. But I won't ask you all those things. I'll just say, how was your winter? I think you just have. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, 2017 was, on the whole, a good season for, for me and, and Team BMW. You know, yeah. we, we won the team's championship. You and, did, indeed. And, and, and all credit there to Dick Bennett's and... West Surrey Engineering. Exactly. You know, we worked incredibly hard to, to be manufacturer champions as well. And I think as a, as a driver in the, in the British Touring Car Championship, all you can do is, is go to that final day with a realistic chance of, of winning. And, uh, you know, we went right down to, to round 30. And it's how the cards fall in that race. You know, it's either the luck's going with you or, or it's not. And... Um, but you were making great progress, weren't you? <laughs> it was always one of those things. You pass three or four cars, and things are looking really good, and then something quite silly and innocuous happens, it's, as we saw. It just takes a, you know, it was a minor bit of contact in, yeah. in the grand scheme of, of BTCC racing. You know, it was an innocuous bit of bit of contact, you know, which which wasn't meant, and it broke the rear upright on, on my car, and I, I was out on the spot. So it, it is frustrating to, to, to lose it, um, you know, in the last race, but... I think with BTCC, the stars have to align for, for mm. you to win it. And, you know, I'm lucky that, that uh, that's happened for me twice. So, you know, that gives me the motivation to go back uh, this year and, uh, you know, go for my third championship. And that's what makes it such a great championship and so popular on, on television. And you are with a big manufacturer as well. So look at it from that perspective towards 2018, what you can expect from the opposition, how your car is going to be. It tends to get more difficult every year. You know, the, the, the level of competition, the depth uh, of the competition increases. Uh, you know, we had 32 cars qualify within one second uh, at Silverstone this year. And at, at Rockingham, you know, which we would consider a very technical circuit, there was 27 cars qual qualified within a second. So you have to be performing at maximum uh, every free practice, every qualifying, every race. So. Um, you know, I'm lucky in that I've got a really experienced team and somebody like Dick Bennett's leading the, the campaign. And, uh, you know, his approach, his methodical approach means that they will always give you a car that's, that's capable of winning. Um, you know, there will be days where it's just not possible to win and you just got to keep scoring points. You know, you got to understand when it's, when it's good to, to settle for a fourth or a fifth. Trying to be consistent is the key. Let's just talk a little bit about Dick, because he's been around a long while in motorsport, and of course, famously, he ran Etten Senna in Formula 3, and he's done so many different things over the years. You've said he's very organized, but beyond that, he's a very calm person as well, under, under stress, it seems to me. You know, Dick has, has spent his whole life mm. in, in, in motorsports. Mm. You know, he came over from, from New Zealand to, to work for Ron Dennis at, at McLaren, and obviously got a very good schooling there and uh, you know then established his own formula three team and you know he very he very rarely gets gets rattled and you know even when you're having a bad day or things aren't going your way you know dick's aware how quickly it all can can change so you know he helps to to, to keep the morale high but uh you know he's always helping just to yeah. steer the ship in the right direction finally you drive for a great team as we just said what do you drive on the road BMW X5. Uh, you have know, very, very fortunate. You know, I have have a family. You know, with with, with two young boys. So uh, you know, I'm fortunate to to have an X5 from BMW. So the, the hardest bit is giving that back <laughs> at the end of the year.